Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a story about a princess called Sita. And this story is about a time when Sita together with her husband Rama and their brother Lakshmana set out to go and live in the forest. And to tell you this story today I'm going to be using a very special language the language of hand gestures and most of the hand gestures that I use today are from a 2000 year old art form called koodi attam can you say koodi attam koodi attam which used to be performed in the temples of kerala This art form is performed in the light of an oil lamp and is accompanied by a pot-like drum called the mirav and the actresses and actors use their eyes and hands and facial expressions and body movements in a very unique way to tell stories about things that happen all over the world in fact in all the different worlds okay so now let's get to the story and i hope that very soon all of you will be able to come and watch a real live performance of kudiyattam long long ago there was a princess called Sita Sita was very kind and very brave One day together with her husband prince rama and their brother prince lakshmana set out to go and live in the forest for many years they built a little hut with leaves and lived there sita was very comfortable in the forest 
she loved it and in those days every morning she would wake up and step out of her little hut and go and sit on the branch of a tree and she would just look at the forest the deer grazing a little snake slithering by flock of birds in the sky the animals actually love to spend time with sita the deer would hang out close by and would from time to time would look up at sita's kind eyes and feel very loved and sometimes when they had itchy eyes they would run to her to get their eyes scratched and the peacock he would peck and clean his feathers every day he would do a little dance for sita and then go and sit by her feet elephant
he would come to visit Sita every morning and he would bring her a bunch of delicious bananas. And then there was this talkative little bird and she loved to amuse Sita with all her stories and news and jokes and gossip from around the forest. And then there was this monkey. Sita loved the forest and the forest adored her like she was their own little goddess. And they all lived very happily together. <laughs>